Believe it or not the dating market right now has some crazy standards. You saw the videos, you saw these women and their preferences. This is called the hype pill. It's pretty harsh especially for the short guys out there, but if you're a man and you're below 5'9", your chances of bagging a hot girl are pretty low in the dating market right now. A lot of research and surveys have also shown the same result. Here's the truth about height. It absolutely is a factor in how women choose their partners. Focus on the wording here, right? Women choose. Men don't. Men don't get to choose. Men are the ones who showcase themselves as potential mates by the value they provide and their status. So, men are out there showcasing their genetic potential and women pick the men they want from the pool. Why is this important? Because many men have developed a desire for women preferences in today's world. Anytime a woman comes in and says she wants a guy over six feet, the short guys just lose it. Even in these TikToks, you'll see a lot of men crying saying she doesn't care about personality or that she's a walking red flag. They are saying that they would never date anyone like her. This is all beside the point. She is not the one chasing these men. The men are chasing after her so she has a ton of options. She can choose all she wants. This is not happening on TikTok or Tinder only. This has been happening since the dawn of time. Women get to choose the men they want. So trying to shift the dynamic and saying these women are toxic and no one would ever date her is useless. Women will continue to have these insane preferences and the worst thing now is that TikTok is amplifying these standards. A survey done on Tinder and women overwhelmingly favors guys who are above 5'10". When it hits six feet, men hit the golden spot where there are very few rejections and women would love to date a man of that height. The farther down you go, even a few inches, the chances of getting a date with a woman becomes less and less. The moment men hit average height for girls, it's over for men. The worst thing here is that many men are still not ready to accept all of this. They give examples of men who got with hot women despite their height. But that's also beside the point. Exceptions don't make the entire case. There might be a few exceptions out there, and yeah, maybe some women don't care about height that much. But for a lot of women, for the average women, and the average man who's trying to talk to women in the nightclub, it's very true. There are also countless stories on Reddit about guys who went into clubs with their tall friends and they always had a hard time talking to girls because everyone was interested in the tall guy. Girls just respond differently when the guy they're talking to is tall. That's because women respond to masculine traits and behavior no matter what the world says. They want to feel small and feminine and they respond differently to a tall, strong man. He just has a different vibe to him. The same is not true for men who aren't a lot taller than the women, so these guys don't have a lot of success with it. It's almost a biological thing where the tall man hijacks the women by showcasing his genetic gift. It's a sign for her to pick him because height is a desirable trait in a man. That's why saying women don't care about height or that men can be short and still have equivalent success is wrong. It's the reality of the world and the dating market of today and we need to accept it. Like the second TikTok, I just showed you guys, women are ready to ignore the worst traits of men if they're tall and muscular. I have known many guys like these who were tall, but had zero personality. They were the most narcissistic and arrogant guys I had ever met. They were the type of guys you wouldn't want in your circle. Yet these guys had the most success with women. There would be all of these women just dying over a guy like this and chasing him. Height is just such a powerful thing for men and tall guys don't realize how different the dynamics of attraction are for them. Short guys see it, but most develop coping mechanisms for it, because accepting the reality is very hard. That being said, there's also a few words to be said for the high standards of women. They used to have this holy trinity of six, six figures, six inches and six feet. But even that is changing. Six feet is a pretty good height for a man, and it's also quite rare. But TikTok and Instagram have exaggerated it even more, to the point that most women just start with 6'1 or 6'2. This gets even more laughable when you realize most women don't even have an idea of how tall men really are. That's why you have all these men inflating their heights in the market and women don't even bat an eyelash. I can't tell you how many guys have passed up as six feet 
or they were 5'10 or 5'9 only. What began as standards and preferences for women has delved into this crazy criteria. It's almost like a robotic computerized test and not a human decision at this point. A single number can make them change their entire outlook on a man. I'm not even joking. I knew this girl who was flirting with my pal, and then she asked how tall he was. She probably thought he was six feet or something. My friend says he's 5'10", but he's 5'11 right now in shoes, and she suddenly becomes distant. It was a joke. Sure, men have preferences as well, but new information doesn't suddenly turn us off. If we like a girl, information about her breast size will not suddenly mean we aren't interested. Humans don't work like that, but apparently women do because they turn a preference into an obsession. Simple as that. I am not going to lie or sugarcoat the fact that height is an important physical attribute for men. However, the biggest way to fail in life as a short man is to fixate on your height as a problem. You cannot change your height. Fixating on it to such an extreme and being insecure about it is where Napoleon complex or small man syndrome is derived from. And this will only lead you to failure. Nothing is worse than a man who is weak or insecure over something they cannot change. Recently, there was a post on Red Pill which argued that if you are under 5'5 five five or 5'7, five you should invest in lifts because being short is disastrous to your life. You will need to fix it or you won't succeed. In my opinion, this is terrible advice for those men who are short. Like I said before, I agree being short probably places you at a disadvantage in life but attempting to fix your height through lifts is a sign of insecurity and not strength. We mock women for hiding their own flaws through makeup and padded bras, and then we adopt a similar strategy. The most red pill method to fixing your height is simply not caring about it. Last, I do suggest that if you are short, it is almost mandatory to work out and wear decent clothes. On the plus side, as a shorter man, it will take you less time to build muscle and look good than someone who is tall. Simply put, they will need 40 pounds of muscle to look the same as you put him on about 20 olds. Additionally, your attitude and dress can go a long way. So get after it, kings. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers.